Welcome back to the percentages video series. This is video two. We're looking how we can convert percentages to fractions. When we look to convert percentages to fractions, not too hard to rule this one. We step one put the percentage number over a hundred to make a fraction. And then like any fraction answer, we look to simplify if we can. Looking at our first example, we're asked to convert 19% to a fraction. So step one, we'll put that 19 over 100. And we look to simplify if we can. Now simplifying, um, we're asking ourselves, are there any numbers other than one that can go into 19 and 100? So we'd look to divide the top and the bottom by the same number. In this case, 19 over 100 is the simplest answer. So we'll move on. Next example, we want, so we're asked to write 24% as a fraction. Step one, we take the percentage number, in this case 24, and we put that over 100, so 24 over 100. And to simplify here, we're looking to find the biggest number that we can that will divide into 24 and into 100. And I'm here to tell you that 4 is the biggest number that will divide into 24 and 100. We could type it into our calculator and press equals, and that would give us the simplest version of 24 uh, over 100. But we'll divide the top by 4 and the bottom by 4 to simplify that fraction. We've seen that in uh, previous videos. So 24 divided by 4 on the top makes 6, and 100 divided by 4 gives us 25. So to convert 24% as a fraction, it ends up being 6 over 25. This time we're asked uh, something a little different. We're, we're uh, asked to convert 120% as a fraction. Now 120%, if you think about it, is over 100%. So instead of getting what we'd call proper fractions or common fractions, where the small number is over the big number, in this one we might expect to get an improper fraction where the top number is bigger than the bottom number. Let's have a look. Once again, we'll write the fraction, sorry, the percentage number uh, over 100 to create our basic fraction. And then we'll look to simplify. Now, the biggest number that can divide into 120 and into 100 is 20. So we'll divide the top by 20 and the bottom by 20. On the top, 120 divided by 20 goes 6 times. And on the bottom, 100 divided by 20 goes 5 times. Now that is a fraction, that's an improper fraction with the 6 on top of the 5. The 6 is the bigger number. We were expecting an improper fraction because that, uh, that percentage was actually over 100 that we started out with. Now if we wanted to, we could also convert that to a mixed numeral, 1 and 1 fifth. But they asked for a fraction, so 6 over 5 is a better answer there. Okay, so that's converting percentages to fractions. Just to recap, to convert percentages to fractions, we look to put the percentage number over 100 and then simplify that fraction down if we can. Thanks for listening. Hope that helps you convert those things. See you next time.